Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. In this video, I'll show you how you can take videos on your computer and use them to create a customized DVD. Now the first step that you'll want to do is put all your media in a single folder. This is all the videos, all the screen captures, all the buttons that you want. Put them all in one folder. So you can see here I've got MP4 videos and then uh, just a couple pictures that I was thinking about putting on there. And then I've also got screenshots of all the videos. Um, and this is going to be used for the buttons. And if you're wondering how you can take a screenshot of a video or the easiest way, just right click on your desktop and go to properties, then click settings and advanced, and then go to troubleshoot and drag the slider for video acceleration um, either close to none or at none. And then one, once it's slid all the way to the left, you can then play a video and hit the print screen button on your keyboard to take a screenshot of it and it will actually show the video in the screenshot. So the next thing you'd want to do is open MS Paint and then hit Control V to paste the screenshot and you'll have a screenshot of your video. And then you can just crop it and save it. Um, so on to step number two, um, you want to use a program called DVD Flick to convert the videos to DVD format. Um, so what you want to do is download DVD Flick, install it, and then run it and then click add video and select one of the videos that you want to convert then under project settings um, you can uh, if you want you can create an ISO image of it if you don't want just leave these blank or unchecked and then whenever you're through just click accept and and then just click create DVD uh, to create the DVD files for this and you want to do the same for all these videos. So just wait till it's, it, it finishes. It shouldn't. It depends on how long the video is as to how long it takes. Then go to My Documents DVD and you'll find the DVD folder. So what you want to do is copy that DVD folder or cut it like I'm doing here and paste it into the folder that you have all of your media in. Um, and this is just to keep everything organized. And then just uh, rename it and do the exact same thing for all the videos that you want on your DVD. As you can see, I have four different DVD folders here. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is create menus for the DVD. And we're going to be using DVD Styler for this. So you can go to the website and download that and then install it. And once you open it up, the first thing you want to do is go to the the directory where you have all of your files and drag each one of the DVD files that we just created um, onto the, the menu bar below. And then if you want to add an image, select the image that you want to add. Um, and then you can just uh, click and drag buttons onto the stage. And then to customize the buttons, just double click on them. Um, you can select where you want the button to point to and then you can select an image for it and then you can select the default width and height and uh, you can just repeat the same thing for the next button except I want this one to jump to title 2 and then uh, I'll set the width and the height and then I'll select the picture for it and just repeat these steps for all the buttons that you have um, and then you can organize them any way you want. And then to add text, just like the picture, right click and select add. And then choose text. And you can create text uh, uh, to label each one of the buttons or just for navigation purposes. And again, if you want to edit the details of them, all you have to do is double click on it. So you can repeat this for as many times as you want. And then just get everything organized. And then what you want to do is add a background if you would like to. So uh, you can click on backgrounds and select the background and just drag it to the stage. And then make sure it covers all of it. And uh, um, to make sure it's not covering up anything else, just right click and select send to back. And then you're ready to burn it to your DVD. So just make sure blank DVD is in there and click burn. And then just click start and it will burn it to a DVD and you'll have it. And then the very last step is uh, to create DVD labels and covers. And for this, we'll use Undercover XP. 
so you can download and install it and then you can select uh, you know either the DVD box half size box or even labels for the DVD um, and you can just import your own pictures by uh, clicking on it um, and then you can select format editor and you can see here um, how you can change it to make DVD labels or not so I'll show you an example of that um, and then you can just resize it uh, you know adjust the image uh, to whatever you want and then click OK and then you can just print it out now if you would like uh, you can also find pre-made covers and labels for DVDs at cdcovers.cc for example I'm going to search for Batman and just pull up all the different kinds of Batman options they have and then you can see here that it has a, a CD cover for Batman. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.